the free blocking. Pay your way in your homeboy's way. You want to be brown and toasty like a piece of breakfast toast. Like, I, I, I was having an out-of-body experience. That's hey, what? Yeah. She's not going to, she'll be fine. Yeah. 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 Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Wow. Just lay in it. Spin all day in it. Just don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. It's ain't with it. I'm okay with yeah. it. It's me, it's me, they don't play with it. What's up y'all welcome back to my vlog before we get started with today's video we do have a sponsor huge shout out to lumi you guys know they are not a stranger to my channel i've been using them non-stop for a few months now so if you guys want to smell better naked if you guys want to smell better after the gym or if you guys just want to smell better after a long day then lumi is definitely the product for you let's face it our underarms are not the only area that causes odor on our bodies that's why i am so excited to bring you guys once again lumi's full body deodorant that is for your pits, your privates, and beyond. Just a little backstory on Lumi. It was created by an OBGYN and after clinical testing, they discovered that your vag is not the problem for your day-to-day -day odor below the belt. So she develops Lumi. It's a uniquely formulated pH balance deodorant. It's aluminum free, skin safe, and it lasts up to 72 hours. So some of the things that I just love about Lumi, one, the scents. The scents are nice and fresh. It goes on smooth. It doesn't leave any white chalky residue anywhere on my clothing, anywhere on my body. I have tried Lumi under my breasts, my underarms, of course, in my V, and of course, on my backside. I am a little bit of a thicker woman, so I might sweat a little bit more. I also work out a lot. So I want that added protection of Lumi to know that I'm still smelling and feeling fresh after a workout. So I'm gonna go run my errands after a workout, after a long day, and I know that I'm gonna be smelling nice and good. So like I told you guys, with it being pH balanced, it is safe for, to use below the belt. So you don't have to worry about any irritation or breakouts. So Lumi stops the odor before it even starts. So it's almost like a pre-deodorant. So I do have a special offer for you guys. Brand new customers will get $5 off of a Lumi starter pack. Use code Gina Janine2023. So click the link down below in the description box or you can use the QR code that's on the screen. Put in my code at checkout and you will get $5 off. That equals over 40% savings. You guys know I love to save some money and I want you guys to save some money as well so you guys can feel fresh and smell good all day. So in your Lumi starter pack, you get a solid stick deodorant and there are different scents that you can choose from. Cream tube deodorant, there are different scents you can choose from these as well. And then you get two free products that you can choose from, deodorant wipes, or there's different body washes that you can pick. So you get four items plus free shipping. So once again, thank you so much to Lumi for sponsoring today's video. And yeah guys, let's go ahead and get onto the vlog. Hey y'all, good afternoon. Welcome back to the vlog. This is the start of the weekend vlog. I feel like crap today y'all, I really do. I've been feeling like crap since last night. We went out to eat for Ethan's birthday last night to Cheesecake Factory. And within five minutes of me coming home, like I felt nauseous. I've had horrible gas, like gas that won't come out. Gas that I just feel piling up in my stomach. I took Tums. I went to the bathroom a bunch of times last night. It was hard for me to sleep. As soon as I woke up this morning, I went to the bathroom and I was still feeling nauseous. I'm like, what did I eat? I literally ordered their, it was like a lightly crusted, like a Parmesan chicken with mashed potatoes and asparagus, something so basic. And then the appetizer was their bread and I had water as my drink. I, I don't, I don't understand. Here it is now almost 2.30 and I still don't feel right. It ain't food poisoning because I've had food poisoning before. Food poisoning, that's a... That's something you don't never want to, I don't want my enemies to experience that. That thing is horrible. You got it shooting out from both ends. I mean, this end, the back end, and there's so much coming out of your nose watering, your eyes watering, you can't breathe, it feel like you about to choke, like, horrible. Awful, okay? So 
anyway, yeah. So I've just been spending the morning really just getting work done. Like I hate having to like be on camera. I did. I recorded some a sponsor. Hey, not not some, but I recorded one sponsorship last night, feeling like crap. I recorded a sponsorship this morning, feeling like crap, and it's just like you don't feel good. The work still got to get done. I still have deadlines and stuff, and it's like I I gotta get it done. <laughs> so. Ashen didn't go to school today. She's with her dad. It's her um, media day for basketball. So he has a hair appointment for her. And it was like a midday appointment. So he was like, I'll just pick her up in the morning. Don't bring her to school. Ethan, I did take him to school this morning. So I'll be picking him up um, in about two hours. Yeah, about two hours. Supposed to be going to the rodeo tonight. Not supposed to. I'm going to the rodeo tonight. Even though I don't feel 100%, I'm going to go to the rodeo. I already have my tickets. Like, I'm going. I'm just going to have to take me some Tums and probably not just drink that much. Because y'all know liquor, like, intensifies. When I have an upset stomach, liquor intensifies that. So whatever. But anyway, I'm just checking in. Oh, are you guys watching Perfect Match on Netflix? Do y'all like dating shows, reality dating shows? I love them. If y'all don't know by now, I love them. I have one episode to go, so I think I'm about to do that. I think I'm about to watch that right now because I'm pretty much done with my work for the day. Yeah, I think I'm about to watch Perfect Match and then I'm probably going to pick out my rodeo outfit. Y'all already know. I tell you all the time, country girl. Texas girl. So I'm probably gonna wear like denim on denim, my cowboy boots, maybe a bandana on my head. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did not have time to go find a cowgirl hat. Tanya says she's wearing her hat. I'm like, dang. If I didn't feel like crap, I would be like in Dee Dee's Ross trying to find it. it. It's probably easy to find one, honestly. Living in Texas, I mean, we sell boots and hats everywhere, so. Um, but other than that, y'all, that's it. I ain't got to update y'all on nothing else. That's it. That's all. That's all I've been doing on this good old Friday. Y'all, oh my God. The last episode of The Perfect Match. Why it got me over here crying like a baby. Y'all have got to watch The Perfect Match. Oh my God. I did not expect that to happen. I don't want to ruin it for nobody. Y'all probably not even watching. I be discussing this show with Keno and Fitz. Oh, and Tina, my sister watches this too. Y'all. Yes, I look like a crackhead right now. Don't judge me. I'm in my own house. I eat and I don't feel good. I told y'all earlier, I feel like crap. But, oh, I love it so much. They're going to have a spinoff. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. Anyways, y'all watch Perfect Match. Y'all, I have been a bad blogger. It's way, way, way later. Ethan's home. We went and ate lunch together. Um, yeah, and now we back home. <laughs> so anyways, y'all know I'm going to the rodeo tonight. These are my outfit options. Do they all look alike? You damn skippy, they do. So anyway, this is the first one. This is just like a medium blue jean color. This is a jacket that I got from Dee Dee's, of course. These are some Zara jeans that I got, oh my God, y'all, over a year ago. Long, long, long time ago. Never wore them because Zara jeans are too short for me. So I always, if I wear my Zara jeans, I will always be wearing them with boots. Because Zara jeans are made for people, I would say, five, six, five, seven, and under. Okay, yeah, they're, these are very high water. Then, well, they say ankle. Let me say that. They say ankle. These say ankle. Those are ankle. Why are all the Zara jeans ankle jeans? Is that in style? I don't know. But on us tall people, it makes them even shorter than regular jeans already are. So let's keep moving on. Anyway, here is a dark denim jacket that I got from Shein. Once again, some more Zara jeans. If y'all ever wonder what size I wear in Zara. Baby girl, I am a 44 in the stretchy jeans, okay? I don't know the non-stretch. I have no clue, but that's a 44, which is a US 12. Or if they're a number jean, a large. I probably could wear the extra large too, I'm quite sure. But those are large. Then this is a jacket that my sister got me. It's from Battyville. I've never worn it yet. So this will be my first time wearing it if I choose this one. With some more Zara jeans, just a light color. So 
Everything's a cropped denim jacket with denim jeans. And then my brand new boots that I got from Ross. Yeah, I told y'all. Oh, y'all hear my stomach rumbling? Ooh. Yeah, these are my boots that I got from Ross. I paid $30 for them a few months ago. And I told you guys, I said, these gonna come in handy. But rodeo, now it's my opportunity to wear them. So anyways, yeah, I'm about to start getting ready. I did not even go get my eyebrows done. I'm not gonna do heavy makeup today just because I still really don't feel that great. Yeah. I don't have a cowboy hat, unfortunately, but I was thinking about putting a bandana on, or maybe I should just tie the bandana around my neck to make it country. I don't know, but I will show you guys the completed look, so stay tuned. Y'all, look how good I curl my hair. Look at my hair. I used a smaller barrel curling iron, and I didn't finger comb through the curls. I'm just going to let them fall naturally throughout the night. But oh, this is the last wig that I had applied. It's the same one. I just washed it. I showed you guys in the last vlog. I washed it. And um, yeah. Oh, now my edges don't look that great. I, I cannot duplicate what she did when she laid it down. So I mean, my edges are passable, but it looks nothing like what Certified Touch did. So it is what it is, but um, yeah. Just had to show y'all these curls before I get out in this Houston uh, humidity and they start falling. Okay, y'all, I'm ready. Y'all have definitely seen this outfit before. When I went to the 2000s party, I wore a denim jacket, denim jeans, brown boots with a heel, and this same bag. Oh, then I wore a chain belt with that outfit and I wore Oh, I wore like some kind of like Chloe glasses, like some color glasses, then a bandana. So I kind of made it more like, you know, J-Lo type. But this is my country outfit. Yeah! Oh, nigga. <laughs> so these are, this is the first outfit that I showed you guys. Y'all probably don't remember because they all looked alike. These are the um, Zara jeans, crop jackets, my Ross cowgirl boots. Yeah. Il told Dosa Do, come on, baby, let's go. Burst it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cadillac, Black Jack, come on, baby, let's go. I got a boogie. Oh, man. Look who calling me, Jennifer. Messing up my, uh, my, country, my country routine. Get down, turn around, go to town, boot scooting boogie. Let me put a shot in my cup. We're gonna polish off this bottle of Casamigos. Um, literally just a shot left. That's that, I need to go re-up at the liquor store next week. Zero Sugar Minute Maid. Because we don't wanna add more empty calories on top of empty calories, okay? Get a thing a whirl, twirl, swirl. This cup was actually sent to me by a subscriber. Her, what was her company called? Pink Passions, Pink. Pink something. Dang it, the name ain't on here. Pink Moments. Pink Moments Boutique. When I tell you, I remember, I got sent so much stuff when I had my P.O. box, but hers was one of like the most extravagant. I was like, she has everything, everything. But anyway, it says Thick Best Friend right here. Super cute. I'm like a little kid. Let me try to make myself go pee before I take this long drive. I don't, Cause I don't know when the next time I'll be at a bathroom, a clean bathroom at that. Because events like this where it's a million people. We waiting on our Uber. It's gonna be a long while. Okay, let me run. 
Okay. I'm gonna go in the building real quick and pee. Okay. If it gets here, check. I will. Okay. We parked at April's job, so she about to go in her building and go. Tinkle. I'm waiting on the Uber. So y'all, rodeo is like so crazy, like with traffic and stuff, that we have to Uber to a Chipotle, which is kind of in the vicinity, and then we have to take the train. Yes, we do have a light rail system. Is it a light rail? Yeah, it's called a light rail. Yeah, train, whatever. Metro rail. Then we're going to ride the metro rail actually straight to where the rodeo concert is. So tonight is a Black Heritage Night. Um, for the rodeo, they have like all different types of mainly like white country performers and stuff. There's one Black Night, which is called, like I said, Black Heritage Night. Last year, it was Bun B and he did nothing but Houston artists. This year it's Bun B again and he's doing Southern artists. So the only two acts that he has announced so far is Manny Fresh and Juvenile. So who else will be a Southern rapper? People from Louisiana, people from Miami. Do Miami people consider themselves Southern or do y'all consider yourselves East Coast in like Florida? I don't know. When I think of like Southern, it's more like Atlanta. Well, not Atlanta, Georgia, the state, Louisiana, the state, Texas. That's what I think of. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna get some footage in and show y'all. Let me see what my driver is. It says seven minutes. He's four minutes away. Shahid. Let me look at Shahid. Okay. Shahid. You've done over a thousand rides, you have a five star rating, and you have been driving for less than a year. Driver fun facts 115 good driving, 105 friendly driving. Okay. All right, Mr. Shahid and the Honda Civic, get us there safely. Y'all, look at my girl Tanya, done showed out. Look not. at her, do the twirl. Yep. Look at her. Yes. So okay. <laughs> I see the black cowboys. Some of the food stands. Y'all, rodeo food is literally the best food. Look at that. This is the deep fried lasagna. Is it good, Tanya? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It is. Before we go on the concert, we stopping and we got something. From this place right here, we got a deep fried lasagna and we got deep fried apple pie. Yeah, and y'all know I would love to give me. Hey, girl! Oh, oh you're in camera. You don't want to be on the camera today? April don't never want to be on camera. I'm surprised. This is the deep fried apple pie right here. Oh, that looks good. That looks so good. This is the best apple pie I've ever had. Yeah, no, this is amazing. This shit good. Normally, that shit hot and fresh. They got yeah. a restaurant somewhere. You said a restaurant? A restaurant. Yeah, look at that. Like look at that. Look at that. Ooh, y'all see it? That's the original. Y'all, there's Trill Burger, Bundy's restaurant. Y'all know he was voted number one burger in America. But that line starts from there all the way to the end of there. Y'all can't see, but that's a line. The whole thing is a line. So I'll be trying that once they actually make their brick and mortar.
What's up, y'all? Good morning. Afternoon. My bad. I've been up for like probably two hours now. Well, I woke up around like 8 a.m. I didn't go to sleep last night until like 2 a.m. And I woke up at 8. And I was on a phone call for like an hour. Then after that, I went back to sleep for like another hour. Anyway, I've been up for like two hours. Um, the rodeo was so fun last night. That's the, it's the rodeo concert slash carnival. Cause I showed y'all a couple of clips of inside the carnival and then like all the crazy food we was eating. We wound up uh, eating more stuff after that that I didn't even show y'all because it wasn't good. They had, after the concert, the restaurants, well, the booths, the food booths were still open, but all of, like, the good stuff was sold out already. Like, I really wanted a sausage on a stick. Like, that was my goal, to get a sausage on a stick or the Mexican corn in a cup. Everywhere was sold out of both. Um, so I wound up getting a corn dog, which was good, but it ain't it wasn't what I wanted. And then I waited in line at one place for a sausage on a stick. I really, I'm like, I waited in line for half an hour, y'all. Half an hour. All of us, me, April, and Tanya. Y'all, once we got up to the front, they were like, all we have left are turkey legs and brisket sandwiches. What? Y'all ain't, y'all ain't got nothing. And I don't like carnival turkey legs. Carnival turkey legs are tough. We have the Turkey Leg Hut here, the restaurant, the real popular restaurant on TikTok and y'all see on social media and all that, where it literally falls off the bone. After eating Turkey Leg Hut, I will never eat a regular turkey leg again. Turkey legs from the carnival are tough. I don't fool with those. I'm like, y'all don't got ribs? She was like, no, we're out of the ribs. Y'all got the baked potato? No, we're out of the baked potato. That's literally all we have left. And we only have two sandwiches left, so hopefully nobody behind you wants one. Y'all need to be yelling out, all we have left is turkey legs and two sandwiches. Girl, so I bought one of the brisket sandwiches. I said, this tastes like it was bought at the grocery store, made at H-E-B, and they slapped it in between a bun. Like, this was not, it, no. So I was mad about that. That was $13 for a sandwich. Me and Tanya took like three bites out of it each, and we threw the rest of it away. Not even, I don't even know if I took three bites. It was so salty and, no ma'am. Then the corn dog was good, but like I said, it wasn't what I wanted. Me and Tanya shared that also. April, she bought her a brisket sandwich, and she said she liked it. I was like, maybe because I was so disappointed I couldn't get my sausage on a stick that everything just didn't taste right. Everything tasted nasty. And, and the second that they handed me the sandwich, we were turning around to go walk to the corn place. The dude was shutting the window. I guess I just didn't need it. I, I, I didn't need those calories. I didn't need it. Anyway, but I saw so many subscribers. Well, met so many of y'all. So, so, so many of y'all. Two people walked up to me and the rest were just like, Gina, hey, Gina. I'm like, hey, y'all. <laughs> so that's always nice when I get to meet y'all. Uh, what else? Mm. My lips feel extra smooth today. It's official. I need to change my makeup, my foundation color, because my tan is completely gone. Yeah, I'm back to my normal skin color. And I noticed that last night after I did my makeup, I was like, yeah. Yeah, Gina, your, your, your tan is gone. It's gone. You need to put the darker makeup away and go back to your, your color. But I do have a trip coming up in a few days. And this is a girl's trip. And y'all, it's so crazy because... Y'all know when I go on girl trips, my goal is to be out in the sun and tan. So we're in our group chat talking about, like, we'd like to book um, stuff in advance. This is a girl trip. I don't think I ever brought y'all on a girl trip with these ladies. Yes, years ago, a few years ago. More than a few before COVID. Yeah, so y'all y'all get to see who I'm on the trip with. But anyway, um, some of the ladies are like, yeah, we need to book our cabana at the pool in the shade. And I'm like, no, we need to book our cabana by the pool in the sunlight so I can get my tan. Like, what are you talking about? It's so funny that just like, I don't know. I thought everybody would want to go on vacation and get a tan, but I guess not. Some people are like, I don't want to get too dark. And then some people are like, the sun burns my skin. 
And me, I'm like, give me all the vitamin D. All of it. Give me out. I want to be brown and toasty like a piece of breakfast toast. Like, I want to be brown. I want to be golden brown. Like, if the sun wasn't so, like, damaging, I would be, like, in the in the sun, like, my entire trip. Every time I travel out in my entire trip. So, but anyway, we want to get in cabana that's <laughs> in the shade. So, I was like, it's fine. It's fine. I'll get my tan somehow, some way. So, not me eating popcorn as my appetizer. I'm just picking out the cheese popcorn. This is Chicago style popcorn. I think I showed y'all in the last vlog. Chicago style popcorn is cheese and caramel popcorn mixed together. I'm not a big fan of caramel popcorn. So, I'm just picking out the pieces of the cheese popcorn. Oh, that's caramel. Oh, y'all. Juvenile retweeted me last night. Reposted me. Let me try reposting me. At the concert, I had tagged him. When he was performing. And he reposted it. My life is complete. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm just joking. But y'all, I had the biggest crush on Juvenile. I had the biggest crush on him. Like... Girl, you look good. I want you back that diamond. Like, if my nigga was to give me a hall pass, it would be for juvenile. Okay? That was my childhood. Not childhood, but like, you know, early teenage crush. And he still look good. On his Instagram, he be on there. I think barbecuing, cooking. He got all that gray hair. He still look fine at 50, okay? Yeah, my nigga gave me a hall pass. It would be juvenile or Nas. It's something about my childhood crushes that it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, I used to like Devontae Swing from Jodeci, Shazam and Dino from H-Town. Who else? else was my little coming up crushes I think I ate all the cheese yeah. coffee or no coffee or no ma'am let me see you What's wrong with them? Molded. That's not mold. It's just discoloration on the skin. That's not molded. Nah, nah, nah. nah. The ones that are moldy get soft. This is still uh, um, firm. Ugh. Now, that's a piece of mold. Yes, it is. Because it has a hole in it. This is just discolor... Y'all, this is not molded. It's just discoloration of the um the skin. This one looks like it got beat up. These are fresh. Ashton. Hole, hole. She's saying this is mold. That's a hole, mom. It's not to the meat, though. Like, I ain't, to the eating, I ain't eating nothing with a hole in it. Girl. This one, yeah, that's... Now, that's a mold hole. But the rest of these, these are fine. I just bought these. Bad. No, it does. It's your first attempt. It's your first try, Ashton. She made the TikTok fried chicken, y'all. It's your first attempt. You did good. Now pick it up and eat it. <laughs> so it's made with ice cream that she shaped into a chicken and she crushed up some. Oh my gosh. What kind of cereal is that? Uh, cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's what it is. Is it hard enough to pick up or no? No. No? Then you probably need to freeze it longer, baby. Dang, I've been letting it freeze for like five. You probably need to wrap it in plastic. 
Oh, it's soft. Oh, girl, put that back in the freezer. You ain't gonna be able to pick it up. Just get a fork and eat it if you don't want to put it back. Look at her, y'all. No, I want to pick it up. I'm, I'm, I'm it let, looks, when you people, just touch it, it's People say soft. let it sit for a day, so I'm gonna let it sit for a day. In the freezer? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, put it back in the freezer. Oh, All right, do we got, that we got, clip. You said delete it? Yeah, and then show them the next day. <laughs> okay, look, put it up. Hold it. Oh, it's fried chicken. Now take a big old yeah, bite. Yeah, it actually looks like fried chicken. Hold on, let me take a picture first. Hold it in your oh hand. Girl, that, look, that literally looks like a piece Wait, of chicken. Wait, take that part off. And that one. That's crazy. That looks like a chicken leg. <laughs> Go. I'm good, I'm good. Okay, now try it. We know it's going to taste good. I'm going to send you the picture. Hi. I just took a picture of it. I know it's good. It's got to yeah, be. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Now let me try it. Baby, you smell Dang, like that, you smell like outside. That even real. sounds like fried chicken when you bite it. Put it in my mouth. Right? That's good. Hold up, where the bone at? Cause I put the bone in here. You put a bone in there. What do you mean? The chocolate. <gasps> she did. You did all that? I didn't even know you did all that. Yeah, she got chocolate bars. The bone in there. Ah, it's hard. Oh, the bone is hard? It's so hard. I'm in the garage waiting on the kids to get in the car. We are headed to my sister's house because Aunt Tina wanted to keep the kids for the night. I'm like, oh. We were supposed to be there at about 5.30. And that was 7.15, so we lit late. But the kids were outside playing with their friends at that time anyway, and they weren't ready to go, so. Yeah. This girl's sticking her tongue out of me. What's in that cup? Water. Agua. H2O. H2O. Water. Agua. Agua. Water slash agua slash slash H2O okay. slash there's chips in our car. Chips, like chips, trash? What you mean chips? Like chips bag or something. Oh, Cheetos. that's Ethan's, yeah. That's it's Ethan's honest. Cheetos, yeah. He bought those from school. Uh, <laughs> Girl, look at Yaya, losing her mind. She's like a little bunny. Uh, <laughs> Where's her tail at? She has never had a tail, baby. Well, she has a little thing. She has a little something something. <laughs> look at her. She's so excited. Did she pee on herself? No, I'm so surprised. Every dog does. It is cold. It is cold. Yes, so let's go. Crazy. <laughs> no, she looks so cute. Okay. She's the cute. best. She's the best, like, ever. Wait, wait, will she mess with me if I pick her up? No. I don't think Yaya's ever been anybody. She's not, she's just being silly. She's not. Ashen's joking. She's not gonna bite you, I promise you she's not. Cause she's, cause Only way she'll bite anybody, like if she's like eating something she's not supposed to be eating and you take it away from uh, her. But she'll, what, she'll like. What, hard? No, she'll Wait, like. Can you pick she'll just like yeah, snap. Look, look, she's not gonna, I promise you she's not gonna bite you. Try. She's not gonna bite you. She's not. She's crazy. She's just excited. She's excited. She's excited. Don't let her fall. Don't be careful, baby. She's crazy. If you drop her, she'll be fine. Like, what? She's not gonna. She'll be fine. Yeah, she'll be fine. Bruno would try. All right. Oh, these are. Ashton said. The only two people in this world who I know that like dark chocolate are Tina and Ashton. And everybody I know loves dark chocolate. These are the best dark chocolates ever. And they're made right here in, in this dark chocolate. It's dark Let's try this one. She has one in her hand already. I'm like, mom. My mom used to just shove stuff down I want you, you cannot say that's bad. That is the best dark chocolate pepper almond ever. Oh my God. It is so good. So you guys, they sell them at Kroger. They have also have dark chocolate covered um, pecans too, and they're like whole pecans. 
It's, they're like creamy, right? I eat these. Yeah. They're so good. Yeah, they're so creamy. Gulf Coast candy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's from Houston. They got dark chocolate covered peanuts. They have everything. I love them. Y'all know Tina always buying me something. Every time I see her, she has something for me. We got some leather pink. This is from Boo Boo. Mm -hmm. Wide leg leather. Wide leg, tall girl friendly. Oh, they're tall. It says actually yep. tall on here. Oh. oh my God. Y'all want to see? I can already tell. I don't know if I'm, am I recording you right? You can decide you can. So you gotta line up the crotch with your crotch right here. Y'all see that? Hanging on the ground. So just imagine with a heel on, it's gonna be still be kissing the ground. Let me call. Look, boohoo tall pants, super stretchy, high rise. They're gonna be up to my titties, but. Yeah, they do, they do come up high. They do come really high. Yeah. So yeah, she's gonna have to get them tailored for yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm gonna get them tailored. I might even, if they come too high, I might even tell them to bring the waist down. But they're gonna be your favorite pants, like, mm. look, yeah, they're so cute. And the brown ones are the same? Yep. I got you two sizes and the size. brown ones. So. Wait, Akina. Yes? Thank you so much. Um, I don't have the shot part turned on, so. Okay, y'all, so we had a whole change of plans. Not change of plans. Aunt Tina already had all this planned out, but I'm coming. Are we we're crossing the dog park? Huh? I said, oh, we're crossing through the dog park. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so we're on a walking adventure. Which is gonna be so amazing and fun. Yes. Y'all know I look like a homeless never, person. We never walk. But now I'm tagging along. I had to borrow oh. Tina's hoodie. So we're about to go get ice cream. Step over there. Really? Oh, I think it's I think it's over <laughs> here. <sighs> Come on, big mama. Oh, Ethan, dang. Ethan, <laughs> Ethan just hopped it. <laughs> Boys can do stuff like that easily. Ethan probably knows how to hop a fence. You know, look at his face. He's like, he can, yeah, of course. Look at his face. He can, he can He's over. like, duh. <laughs> he can hop over our um, our our fence, like our our wooden oh, fence. Mind. That's just, there's no space. Oh, yeah. This is where my sister lived. Literally, connect. Her a building is connected on the Cartier, awesome. Dior, Philippe Patek, yeah. Rolex. <sighs> yep. Wa literally, we're walking. <laughs> Y'all think I live in a bougie area? No, she lives in a bougie area. My area, don't compare. I live with the soccer moms, okay? Here goes Van Cleef. There's our pick movie theater. <laughs> and our first stop is the ice cream. Oh my God, it's packed. I mean, it just scoops, so it should yeah. go quick. What's the name of this place? Uh, Amarino. Yeah. Amarino Gelato Au Natural. Okay. And they make it like a, like a, like a flower. Oh. Very cheesecake, my girl. Yeah. small cup? Sorry. You like that one? He has a small cup. Do you know? Cheese cake. Thank you. Where I pick y'all for the birthday boy. When you got a, a auntie who knows people and get you a whole theater to yourself. She got your aunt Tina got you the whole theater. We can do anything in here. The whole theater. I don't know what we're watching though. I still don't know what we're watching. What are we watching? We're gonna watch Creed 3. <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh, Tell your auntie thank never, you! Even, Tell your aunt thank you! I haven't even finished number two yet! <laughs> <laughs> Whole theater vibes! Sorry. Oh, they're bringing back Indiana Jones. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, I'll get a hobby. Oh yeah? Yeah, you. I'm gonna go down the studio.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Ethan. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish, two wishes. Yay! She's about to cry. Because I couldn't sing. Because <laughs> I cry. I cry every time I sing happy birthday. Oh. I still remember. Y'all, it's midnight. So we're headed home. Not we. I. Me. By myself. Headed home. Oh. I should have grabbed a pillow and stayed. And me and Tina could have slept in her bed head to feet. That was a nice outing. Like that was a nice family outing. And that was so sweet of her to, to want the kids for tonight. Bought Ethan cake and ice cream. Got that whole theater just for him to watch Creed. And y'all know this is opening weekend of Creed. Creed is sold out everywhere. You cannot get seats anywhere last minute. She got the whole theater. We got free food. She didn't pay for anything. She she got a hookup. We like she. She know people, okay? It's, it's always nice to know people. So we got to eat for free, drink for free. She took us to get ice cream. It was just so nice. It was it was really nice, really sweet, really thoughtful. So I'm like, oh, you get the best, you get the best auntie award. <laughs> I always wished, like, oh, I wish my sister would have a kid. I, oh, I always, I held out hope so long I was like man I want Tina to have a kid man I want her to have kids so my kids can have kids to grow cousins to grow up with to play with on this side of the family I really want I really wanted it but y'all my sister she's never wanted kids like never wanted kids ever 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 wanted kids so she's always said that whenever she gets married she feels like she'll be a good stepmom to teenagers <laughs> So, but she's an amazing auntie, but yeah, she's always said that she wants to be a stepmom. She's never just had desire to have her own kids. She's just never had that desire. I have a, uh, another good friend who's just like that. She just never had the desire to be a mom. And it's okay. It's okay. I used to think like that was weird because I love my kids so much and I just can't imagine life without them. I can't imagine not being a mother. I just... I feel like I was brought into this world to be a mother. Like that is like, I just I just love my kids so much. And so I used to think like, that's so weird that people don't want kids. Like, why do you not want a kid? Why do you not want someone that's gonna love you for life? Somebody who you'll just always have like a best friend and this and that. So I used to think that was weird until, you know, I got older and I'm just like, some people just don't desire to be a parent and that's okay. It's not for everybody. And she's one of those. She's just like, I don't want to carry no child. I don't want that responsibility. So, yeah. She could love on them like tonight and send them right on back home. Uh, okay, my battery's about to die, y'all. And I need to concentrate on driving. So. Hey, besties. I'm back. I just finished two hours of editing. Now I'm in bed watching Martin. Y'all, I'm about to take some of these THC gummies that Tina gave me. The red ones are 500 milligrams. And then these yellow ones, are they orange? Yellow, orange, I don't know what you want to call it. But these are 200 milligrams. I'm going to take the 200 milligrams because yeah but she says this is what she takes to fall asleep to stay asleep and to have a good night's sleep so we're about to pop one tastes nasty ew Ugh. Ew, the aftertaste is gross Ugh. Y'all know I've been taking these sleep tight gummies. These work so good. They're by Hems and Hers. You can find these at your local TJ Maxx. I can also link them down below because they're sold on Amazon also. Of course, they're cheaper if you find them at TJ Maxx. Yeah, so I'll let you guys know tomorrow how those gummies do me. If they did anything or if they made me feel sick or if they didn't do nothing or what. 
But anyway, let me lay here and watch Martin. I literally think I have watched every episode of Martin. I don't think there's an episode that I have not seen. I have been watching Martin since Martin came out. And I literally watch it every day. I feel like I've watched every episode of Martin at least. There's some that I probably watched like six, seven times. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. Sunday, no fun day. Good morning, good morning, good morning. My dang battery's about to die. Let me make this quick. I'm just checking in with you guys. Happy Sunday. It's the afternoon. Um, I'm about to make me something to eat real quick because I think we're doing a lunch later with some of my girls. Tina already, Tina was supposed to come, but she told me last night she doesn't think she's gonna be able to make it. She'll let me know. Um, she had a great time with the kids last night. Sent me so many pictures. I'm like, oh, I said, we gotta make this a ritual like once a month, once every other month, auntie day. Ooh. Yeah, so they really enjoyed their time. She enjoyed her time with them. So I just, I love that. Now what to eat? I have egg white bites, well egg bites. I really could make these myself. Why did I spend $3 on these? I don't know. I also have it in meat lovers. What do I do, just put these in the microwave? We're gonna try it out. Do y'all actually type a number in or do y'all hit the 30 second button a bunch of times? I usually type a number in, but today I don't know why I hit the 30 second button twice. Might as well polish off these grapes. Let me call Jennifer to see. She was supposed to be sending me some brunch spot with restaurant options. Y'all think I can make it? Catch a grape in my mouth. I used to be good at this, okay? God, dog it. Ah! Dang. Third time's charm. Come on now. I caught it in my hand, so that one don't count. One more time. Child, if that ain't a healthy, boring breakfast, egg bites and grapes. So one of the ladies canceled. So it's just gonna be the three amigos, the three musketeers, me, Tina, and Jennifer. Oh, I overlined that. Oh my God. Y'all see right here? Mm -mm. This is gonna sound crazy, but one thing that I just love, love, love about my nose, it's still wide. It's still a wide ethnic nose, it looks natural. But my nose before, my nostrils were the same width as my lips. So now they're brought in to where my, now my lips are wider than my nose. It's weird, I know, I know, because even when I was telling the surgeon that, he was like, I've never heard anybody say that before. I've never heard anybody, like, request that before. He, he was kind of like, that's weird. And I'm like, I'm fully aware that I'm weird and I notice every little thing. It's so crazy, like, I never noticed. There was a lot of things that he pointed out that I never noticed, like, how off balance my face is, my different size nostrils, my different size cheeks, my different size, um, I'm about to call jawbone. I guess it is jawbone, your jaw. Yeah, jawline, there you go. Different jawline angles. Like I never noticed that until he pointed everything out to me on, um, on camera. I was just like, I just don't want my nose as wide. I want it brought in a little bit, and I want a bridge. I don't want no little tiny fairy nose, no European nose, no nose where you just look at me and say, oh, her nose look pinched like she has something done. Mm -mm. Please keep my nose as a black nose. 
even though I know noses come in all different shapes and sizes, I got friends who have very, very pointy noses. And I mean, they're fully black. So I'm aware of that. I just didn't want my nose to change too much. But anyway, I'm just saying all that to say, that's just things that I notice now, like when I do my makeup, like my nose is actually, my lips are now wider than my nose, you know? And then when I smile, you know, my nose would spread. It still does. Nose still spreads, but it's just not as much. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I'm, I'm just loving my, my results, y'all. So that's all. Um, yeah, I'm about to curl my hair. I'm going to try to be out the house if possible. Maybe in 20 minutes. Maybe I'm just going to do like curls in the front. Well, the bottom's not that bad. bottom's not that bad. Maybe I'll just do curls in the front. Oh, that curl looks perfect. Let's see if it's going to fall perfect. They got a little doop, doop, doop. <laughs> oh, that was a catfish. That was a catfish. Okay, so usually the way that you can fix that, your handy dandy heart comb. So let's see if it's gonna work. Usually if I just comb it straight back, it'll lay right. Comb it. Comb. Comb. Um, just come away from your face and it should let's see oh yeah that's much better you see that yeah look at that would you look at that it now matches the other side okay okay y'all so this is the outfit this is from Forever 21. I showed y'all I bought this a few months ago. I got it in this brown color, a pearl color, and then a black and white color. Months ago, when these were like really popular, I don't think these, these like came in being popular like a year ago, and then I don't think anybody really even wears them anymore. But hey, it's my first time wearing mine. So yeah, I didn't know what to make it more flattering. Like, first of all, it's giving major camel, like major, and then, Ugh. I don't know, like this outfit can never like, it's just giving pajamas, y'all. I seen some girls wear it tied up, but I didn't want to do that. See, this is how it looks out. To me, out, it don't look bad, but no, that's not, no. And then tied up, the camel's on display, but it would be like this. I don't know. Anyway, these are the two bags I'm thinking about wearing. This one, bitch, not the Chanel. Not the Chanel. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking the Chanel bag goes better. I should be ashamed of myself. I bought this bag. Ooh, how long ago? Two months at this point, I wanna say. Or at the end of December. It was either the end of December or beginning of January. Over two months ago. And I'm just now about to use it. Shame. Okay, then I'm wearing just some clear heels. I'm wearing my Jimmy Choo dupes. These right here. My favorite shoes. These are Jimmy Choo dupes. I got them for $14 off of Fashion Nova. And they are just super comfortable. Sexy. And you only see the little tip of my toe anyway, so. Yeah, now. Okay, and then I have on my two-tone LV, LV earrings. My wrists are gonna be covered up, so I'm just gonna put on some rings. And that should be it. I sprayed my body down with that Zara um, Red Temptation, which is the dupe of the Baccarat. So, you guys, I showed you guys on the video, Red Temptation from Zara, exact 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 baccarat dupe it smells so good and it's only i think i paid 15 dollars for the small bottle for the one ounce bottle then they have like the big bottle that's like 29 or something like that so you guys get it y'all so this bag is called a vanity case this is how it opens up so it's pretty much really for 
I guess cosmetics you can set on your countertop but I mean it comes with a purse strap I mean I guess you can do what you want with it but y'all it has this little holder on the inside right here I guess so you can put maybe like lip gloss but it's perfect for my sandbird oh look at that oh that's curved or maybe I should put my Fenty there maybe I'll put my Fenty there I don't know but I like that. That's that's Kurt. Oh, I need to change wallets because this is not gonna fit. I wonder if we gotta pay for parking. Like if they do valet at this place. We're going to a restaurant that was on my um to try list. It's called B and B Butchers. So Tina also wanted to try this place out. I think she's the one who first told me about it. Jennifer had never heard of it, but she she be down. She be down for whatever. I'm just gonna put my stuff in the back pocket. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't feel like looking for my mini wallet. Okay, we're gonna leave a strap on this one. Y'all know I usually never have the straps on any of my purses. Okay. I'm finally going to be able to give Jennifer this bag of Old Navy stuff that I got like two weeks ago. This exit is my first time. Exit 127B, Richmond Avenue, downtown via Louisiana Street. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it's my first time seeing her, so I get to give her her bag of little goodies, her clearance goodies that I found for her. I want to tell y'all I'm starving. Them, that little egg white thing. No, it wasn't even egg white. What is it called? Egg bite. I keep saying egg white. It's egg bite. That little mini egg bite with a handful of grapes. That did absolutely nothing. I am still starving. And I love that Tina's coming because Tina usually is down with my food fuckery. <laughs> she actually started me with my food fuckery. Just buying a bunch of stuff just to taste. Like, oh, you buy this, I'll buy this, let's buy this extra plate, let's buy this dessert, let's just taste everything. Appetizers, too. Yeah, yeah. It was a meme that was going around like a year ago, and the meme said, You would think me, me and my homegirl spend like drug dealers when we go out to eat. We just buy like it was something like that. And I had sent it to Tina, she was like, yes, this is definitely us. I'm like, yes, it is. Let me look at my mirror. I'm gonna show y'all this mirror all the time just cause I love it so much. Y'all already know, it be linked below. Look how big it is. And it just gives all that bright light when it's dark outside. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Baby, the skin is skinning today. Skin for the win. 41 wear. 41 wear. She's giving, she's giving 31. Some might even say she's giving 28, 29. Hmm. You've arrived. Oh. Destination is on your right. Here it is. Oh, I heard this song in so long. Listen. Ooh. Oh, Mariah, where's the free parking? Where's the free parking? Oh, they got B&B Butchers right here and across the street is B&B Lemon. I wonder what that is. Hello, how much is parking? You work on tips. Oh, it's, it's tips, okay. All right, give me just a moment so I can get my stuff out of my purse. Look who I spy through the window. Look who I spy. Jesus. Well, hello there, gorgeous. Hello. Are we checked in or are we just waiting? Oh, we can sit down now. Oh, okay. Tina? No, she's coming. She is coming. She just has stuff to do, though. She had to get her lashes done, her nails. Then she had to go home and change, so. Right. I have a. Um, I don't know if you remember me telling you somebody came in the bank, he smells so good. And I asked him where he had on, he said, I can't tell you. And then he finally ended up telling me, but they don't sell it in the U.S. Um, yes. I will take a... I'm sorry. It's okay. You can take 
can always tell me the vibe you're looking forward to, and I can. Sweet. I want something sweet. Something sweet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I recommend the Taste of Bliss. It's kind of like a very refreshing lemon, um, beautiful cocktail. I'm okay. Vodka, elderflower flavors. Have it has a mezcal. I don't, I'm not a fan of mezcal. Okay. Um, I'm, I'll take the taste of bliss. Taste of bliss. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, taste of bliss. It's got a mint leaf. That it's is a mint leaf. It's very pretty. Got some crispy, crispy calamari. Some brisket ravioli. Brisket ravioli from a pig, though. I know. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> it's swine. It's, it's pork. Swine. It's pork. And we got calamari like you like. <laughs> Oh my god. Drink number two. Espresso martini. Oh, and y'all, look who joined us. The sister. Cheers. Doesn't she look so beautiful? Thank you. Oh, and I can tell them lashes are fresh. Yeah, they look good. I just read the ticket wrong. My apologies. So it is. This is meeting well. Meeting well. Okay, thank you. And if you. This looks magnificent. I know, I want that one. Yeah. I want that one. Wait, do we have some cake here? We got butter cake that Greedy has already dipped into. There's Greedy right there. Oh, that's amazing. It's good? Yes, it's better than good. It's dance, dance, shake it, shake it, friend. <laughs> okay, so before I get out of here, because we are wrapping up this weekend vlog, I have... A question it's not really a rant it's maybe a question I just need some understanding so if you guys have seen that new movie called you people a Lauren London's character dating a white guy and the role that his mom plays she's kind of like she's trying to be like the cool white mom, but says all the wrong things. If you haven't watched it, you might not know what I'm talking about, but <sighs> me, Tina, Jennifer, we're just out to eat. And this happens to us very often, a, a lot. And I'm quite sure it happens to groups of other black women as well. But me and Jennifer, we're sitting, we're vlogging, of course. It's a lady, she comes from another table. She comes, kneels down next to us, and she's asking us about our cameras. Like, what are you, who are you guys? Are you guys somebody? What do you do when we see the cameras? And I'm an older woman, and I just, I don't know about, you know, this digital world. Like, what's, you know, what? And we kind of explain to her, you know, oh, we're, you know, social media influencers, bloggers, blah, blah, da, da, da. And like, oh, really? Oh, that's so cool. And she throws out, I'm just the white lady who knows nothing about this stuff. I'm like, okay, that's weird. You're a white lady who, I mean, social media, yeah, there's a, a black space, but social media influencers is dominated by the white influencer. That's just what it is. They they dominate the whole social media space. We, um, we're here, but we are not the the main people who, who are influencing and making the big bucks and are the big, you know, the big faces of stuff. So anyway... Tina, it automatically triggered her. <laughs> she was like, it has nothing to do with race at all. She was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm just, well, I'm just old and, you know, I just know that I didn't grow up in the era of blah, blah. Once she was done, this was all of maybe a, only a five minute conversation. She says, before she ends, like, thank you guys for answering my questions and not beating me up. Why, why would you think because it's a table of black women that we would beat you up, cuss you out, like have any type of aggression towards you for asking a simple question? Like, it just, y'all, yeah, it just really rubbed me the wrong way. And I understand she was really trying to be nice. She really meant well, but still in the back of her head, even though she meant well and she was being polite, she still has this thing that black people are aggressive. Black women especially are aggressive. Because why would you throw in there, thanks for not beating me up? You 
we have no reason to beat you up. You ask us a question like, there's no reason for us to get mad at you, beat you, beat you up. And I know social media carries on that stereotype of us by people like these social media comedians. Um, I don't follow the guy. His name is Ro Ro Romando, Romando. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. He always, he has this persona of a black woman. He's a, a white uh, gay boy who puts on this persona. He can say that it ain't a black woman. It's a, his persona is a black woman. He be on the, I need me a real man. You don't be around your white mother and your white siblings and your white aunt and uncle at Christmas dinner talking like that. No, that is a black woman persona that you are putting on to get views on the internet. Uh, Tim Bay, he's another one who wears a wig and has this ghetto girl persona. Um, there's a lot of them out there that are, have not, millions of viewers, subscribers, followers on the internet that have gotten famous from putting a wig on and rolling their neck, snapping their fingers, popping their gum, putting on this black woman persona, which it's like the shenane, how Martin used to do. It's the Medea. It's the, um, uh, who else was it? Anyways, y'all know, y'all know all of these personas that show black women in this light of being aggressive, combative, ghetto, can't really speak a sentence all the way. And it's like, I've never, in my 41 years of life, I've never been around women like that. So these men who carry this stereotype going on about how black women are, I've literally, none of my family members act like these caricatures. None of my friends act like these caricatures. Nobody who I surround myself with, nobody who I even, vloggers who I watch in their daily life don't act like these caricatures that is put on social media. You know, it's just like, it, it just sucks that I, we can't even go out to eat in a very high upscale restaurant. My meal alone, I paid $220 for tonight. $220. $220, but yet I get stopped by a woman who says, thanks for not beating me up. It's just, I don't know, y'all. It, it's really, it, it gets me really sad. That's how we're looked at. We're looked at as just aggressive beings. When, like I said, I've never witnessed that in people that I've worked with, in people that I've been around in my day-to-day -day life. The Shanene. Uh, uh, Romanda, what is his name? Y'all gonna make, <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm about to say y'all gonna make me look him up. No, Romano, here we go. Landon Romano. My own money, but I'm sick of taking care of my goddamn self. I need a real man to step to the motherfucking front line and take over. Hold a bitch down. The fuck you talking about? It's See, this is, this. This is not him. He doesn't go to his family dinners and family holidays acting like this. Trust me. He's, he's, he's putting on this, a what, what society says a black woman acts like. So it's just sick. Like I would never follow him. I don't, when people send me his stuff, I don't think it's funny at all. Like people send me his, his reels all the time. I don't think it's funny because I don't know any women like that. Like it's, it's such a false stereotype like it's so not true like yeah you might have the one or two girls in the hood or not even in the hood that might you might see acting like that at the corner store but in the grand scheme of things that is not how black women act so it's just it's just I don't know does this happen to y'all ladies that Sometimes white women, and it's not all y'all, because I know I have white viewers too, but it's just, it's just so weird when it happens to us. Like, oh, you're so pretty. Let me touch your hair. Let me see. Now, how'd you get that in? Like, what is, what is this thing going? What is that? It's so pretty. Like, I'm a pet. Like, I'm not your pet. I'm not a, like, no. So it, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's, coming from a good spot but it's still that in the back of their heads like 
wear this thing, this like, I don't know. I don't know the right words and I don't want to say the wrong thing. So anyway, I can go on and on and on about this subject. I am about to, I was told that I have got to watch Potomac Housewives. I have to watch Potomac Housewives. I was also told tonight that I have to watch Love, wait, Love After Lockup and Married at First Sight. I was told that those two shows, I have to watch them, I have to watch them, I have to watch them. And I was also told I have to watch Milf Manor. Y'all know I don't really watch TV like that. I watch vlogs all day long. And the only shows that I really catch are like Netflix shows. And then I can just watch them. I binge watch them. But I do watch Atlanta Housewives whenever that comes out and Basketball Wives. Like those are my two like TV shows that I watch. Everything else is usually like a Netflix show and I watch it within like three days, you know. So anyway, I'm about to find, see which one is going to tickle my fancy for the night. Milf Manor sounded interesting, and so did Potomac. I'm thinking I need to watch Potomac, because I think the season just ended today or yesterday, so I could binge watch that. It should be on On Demand. Uh, okay, anyways, I might pick y'all back up later. I might not. I'm not sure. Okay, y'all, it's been a minute now. I'm on episode two of Potomac. I I don't know if it's because I'm on season seven. I'm like, I'm not going all the way back to season one. I just can't see myself doing that. Season seven is the newest season. I'm on episode two. I can't get into it, y'all. I'm trying. And I think it's because I don't know these women. I don't know their backstories. I'm hearing all kind of mess and cheating husbands and divorcing. And I just don't know who's who, whose husband is who, what met. I just. Oh, trying, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stick it out. <laughs> Tina said that this is better than Housewives of Atlanta. How is this better than Housewives of Atlanta? Housewives of Atlanta is shady, messy, entertaining. Like it's this, this, this ain't that. I'm gonna watch episode two. I'm gonna get to episode three. I probably watch three. If by episode three, I'm not thoroughly entertained, then I'm going to have to cut it off. Oh, but y'all, I think I was supposed to give y'all an update about the gummies that I took last night to go to sleep that my sister gave me. Baby, I woke up out of my sleep at 3 a.m. to go pee. My head was not attached to my body, okay? I floated to that bathroom. I told Tina I was walking like this. I literally was walking like this to the bathroom. I'm, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I was having an out of body experience. That's all I'm going to say. She said that the stuff in these gummies is not THC. She said it's called Delta. The bottle clearly said THC. Maybe they just wrote that on there, but that's not legal in Texas. So I don't know. She's like, trust me. It's not, it's not that. I don't know why the bottle says that it's not that. It's about a, it's a Delta 8 and a Delta 9 or whatever, whatever. I'm like, okay. Anyway, I, I slept good last night. This morning, I ain't really even fully wake up. <laughs> like, fully, fully wake up until like 11 a.m. Y'all know I don't sleep that late. Let's end the vlog here. Thank you guys for spending the weekend with me. And yeah, we're going to start things back right on up tomorrow.